Andy, it's been a week, obviously, since our first defeat against Aldershot Town. And, um, you know, it's, it's been hectic, really, hasn't it, having the Saturday and Tuesday fixtures. What has the week been like in terms of reflecting on that defeat? Um, yeah, I think it was probably just the game too far for us in that in that spell. Um, you know, we had three or four injuries for the game. Um, and there weren't really much in it, to be fair. I've watched the game back. There wasn't much in it, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. I thought we had probably two... To, I uh, probably had one, they had one chance. We had two decent chances and they took theirs and we didn't. Um, you know, there's still, even before that game, we knew there was still loads to work on in terms of how we can get better. Uh, and that hasn't changed. Um, you know, this week we've, we've managed to rest a few. Um, we were carrying knocks. A couple of injuries are, are slowly coming back, which is great. Um, and it's been a really good week in terms of we've got a lot of information into the players, which we haven't had to, we haven't had, chance to do really in the last four weeks so um, yeah it's been a good week and hopefully we can um, top it off with a win tomorrow I was going to say the last few weeks has been Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday so I'm guessing it's been not only a good physical break but also a good mental break for you and the whole squad yeah no it's been it's been, it's been much needed um, you know it was a tough period we had some some tough games in there so you had tough away games some long trips to go um, to, to have as well um, and we had some fantastic results all in all really we had, we had a fantastic period um, you know from the kid minutes of the game all the way through to Oldershaw obviously uh, we had some really good results in there um, yes we can learn from last week but I think the main thing was to, to give the lads a little bit of a rest and uh, you know, re, you know, re-energise basically mentally as well. Like you've just said, it's been a really tough period, and hopefully that's we've managed to do that this week. We've got a lot of information in terms of how we want to get better going forward. Um, yeah, looking forward to the game tomorrow now. And as a player and, co and a coach, you've had some good experiences in the cup with uh, Banbury and throughout your playing career. What do you sort of envisage as a cup run for Solly Moors going forward? No, I think it's really important, um, you know, for the football club. Um, uh, like Nora managed to get to the fifth round against Arsenal, which is great to them after a replay. The last couple of years, uh, two out of three years, we've got Banbury to the to the first round proper. You know, the first in their or well, the second time in their, in their history, um, and that helped our league form. Um, you know, that sort of you know buzz around the place for a, as a cup competition was on the TV twice as well. Extra revenue for for the football club, so we know how big it is for us. We know how big it is for the Gulls Wade as well. Um, you know, it's a really important game, and we have to be we have to be at it. We have to mentally be right, um, which I'm sure we will be because the characters, the players in the, in the squad we've got. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I keep reiterating, it's a big game for the football club. And obviously, tomorrow's opposition, Biggleswade Town, are somewhat of an un unknown quantity. I mean, step four football. I'm guessing it's been tough getting footage and stuff of uh, of their matches. What has the preparation been like? You know, the players, like you say, getting information on board and everything like and like that. What's it sort of been like? Um, well, I was, I'm, you know, I know, know their two, um, two assistant managers. They're good, good people, top, top people. Um, you know, they're, they're, I've watched them play. They're, they try and play football. They work their socks off. They're organised. Um, you know, and that's dangerous. They can, they can be really dangerous. We've, we've watched Floyd Meg. The analyst has been fantastic in, in, in gathering as much information as we can. Um, you know, but on the day we have to be at it. It doesn't matter what the opposition do or or how they turn up. You know, they're going to work their absolute socks off. We know that um, is how we how we approach the game. Um, and so far this season, we've we've been absolutely superb. Um, and we're you know, I think mentally after they losing last week, you know, you want to go and win your next game as quickly as possible. Uh, for us, that's tomorrow. Uh, you know, that's our main focus on winning, going winning the game of football. Uh, whether that be a league game, a cup game, whatever it is, um, and we're focused on that really. And looking at our uh, injuries, how are the lads looking at the moment? The likes of Matty Warburton, Jamie Osborne, and Joe Sabara. Well, first and foremost, Joe Sabara. Um, the last two days he's been jogging, um, and, and if you've seen Joe in the last two, three months, you know he needs not been able to do that. Um, and it's been absolutely fantastic to see him on the grass. He's had some really good news this week, so. That's a really good positive sign. Uh, in, 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 you know, hopefully in the next six six weeks, uh, he gets ramped up, and um, you know we should have a, a you know a top top player in his league back, which is great. Um, he was I think he he um, his heart rate went a bit too high yesterday. I think because he was that excited just to get out on the uh, on the grass. But um, you know, it's great to see him out there. It's given uh, you know the whole club a lift. Um, you know, because we know how how frustrating it's been for him. Uh, to, 
first and foremost, that's great news for him personally. And we, you know, he's such a top lad. Really great to see him back out in the grass. Ozzy's progressed really well uh, this week. Um, Maybe involved tomorrow, but I think more looking at, at next week. Um, Warburton still probably a week, a couple of weeks away, possibly. Um, you know, there's a few niggles really from the last couple of weeks, but only because the lads have been going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, you know, Labs, you know, was good uh, the last couple of weeks. He's he's come for another week uh, fantastically well. So you know, all in all, some really good positive news on the injury front, really. And how's Jay Ben looking as well? Yeah, Jay, I spoke to Jay Ben funny enough, this morning. Uh, we're looking at probably the Dagenham game, so he's still going to be over a month away. Um, um, you know, he had concussion. He had like fractures in his face from that um, from that um, you know, collision. So he's he's going to be still for over four weeks away. Um, you know, obviously Kane and, and, and Luke's have done really well uh, in, in back up to that. So yeah, so four weeks for him, for him which is frustrating but um, again that's another good player to come back in in, in four weeks time Andy thank you for your time